as of today, I'm gonna say I'm having the most fun on that India. I'm Levi Lavelli, and welcome to my dream. I believe you can have anything in life if you just want it bad enough. Now grab your helmet and let's get to living. We had two of the new uh, models, Polaris models, okay? Indy XCR 129 and we had the Indy XC 137. If you go traditional tunnel, a little bit longer than the 129, I think we're gonna be getting places. And sure enough, they came out with the Indy XC-137. And, you know, it was my first couple of days riding on it. And I went, holy cow, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. You know, the thing is great. It's great on the trail. You know, a little bit longer, kind of bridges those bumps. Um, I have a Storm 150 track on it. So it's got the inch and a quarter outer lug, inch and a half in the middle. So the thing, like, it, the inch and a half lugs in the middle really scoop, so you can you can feel that, like if you're doing any carving or whatnot, you get really good traction. But on the other hand, that inch and a quarter on the edges, you're still able to feel that back end, like tail slide and whatnot, if you wanna give it a little little snap turn in a corner or spin it around or something, it does that still really well. So I really liked the idea of the 137, I really expected it to be really good, and sure enough, it was really good. I really had a lot of fun with it. You know, last year with the Indy XC 129, um, the thing that that was hardest for me was that it was it was real soft suspension. So the first thing I did this year on that 137 is I just cranked everything up and I said I'm going ditch banging with this. <sighs> I went ditch banging and it actually handles um, the jumps, handles the bumps and stuff, the bigger stuff. It handled it really well when I had the suspension turn almost all the way to the stiff side. Uh, when you do that though, it makes, it makes it a little less supple through the smaller stuff. So you can kind of get more deflecting and kind of bouncing off stuff instead of absorbing it. So it's not ideal if you're like trail riding to turn the clickers all the way up. But, you know, ditch banging, it was actually, it was pretty functional through um, ditch banging with it, just with the clickers turn all the way up. So that, you know, that sled was, it was really good. It was a really good sled. It worked pretty decent carving. I did a little bit of carving with it. Um, the back end still will come around on like a steep side hill, but it definitely holds better than the 129. And, uh, overall, it's just like a really good, it's a really good balance between ripping down the trail and um, ditch banging, side hilling. You, you can kind of do everything pretty well on it. Uh, compared to a 144, I would say it's a little bit, uh, a little bit less off trail, but I mean, for overall Midwest riding, I think the sled is like, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Um, so that's that's a sled that I, I really I'm really gonna have fun with, and I think in the future I'm probably gonna go with um, I'm gonna probably go a stiffer, a little bit stiffer suspension for me, just so I can jump it a little more and kind of beef things up a little bit, just to like take that kind of um, abuse that I would give it, um, and then the thing would be spot on for me. So, but right now, I think the sled that I'm really enjoying, enjoying the most right now is that the new Indy XCR 129, just because it's like, it's just, it's just like does what, what I like to do. It, it does really well on the trail. Like it, you can just feel it's very stable. Um, and it, with it being a little bit shorter, you can, you can kind of feel, it just kind of feels a little bit more nimble on the trail. Uh, the, the thing that I have that maybe we could be better on the trail is a shorter lug track. Like the, I have an inch and three quarter lug on it and it's a little bit, it wants to catch when you tail slide. 
Uh, but it, if you don't tail side, it stays like pretty glued to the trail. And then uh, when you go off trail with it, the inch and three quarter actually, it actually works pretty well off trail uh, just because it's a little bit bigger lug. Um, the, the length is what kind of gets you is like when you start side hilling, it wants to kick down the hill, especially on a steeper hill at the back end wants to come down on you. So that's like the one um, I would say downfall to it is it's a little bit short for, for some good side hilling. Uh, but the suspension for jumping is like, like ditch banging. It was, it was like probably the best trail sled stock setup I've, I've ever been on. Like I was able to jump like pretty effectively on it. Um, you know, and I just kept pushing bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, as I was, you know, finding out that, Hey, this thing can take it. And, you know, so I just kept hitting stuff harder and harder and it actually, it did really well through it all. Uh, you know, I wouldn't take it on a snow cross track and expect it to do anything, but for ditch banging, and jumping, jumping different things like that, it was actually a lot of fun, uh, for me in that, in that regard. Um, so overall the Indy, um, or the Indy XCR, I would say 70% trail, um, ditch banging 30% off trail. Maybe, maybe I'm giving it a little bit, maybe 75 to 80 trail ditch bang. And then, uh, 2025 or 25, 30 of, um, off trail. It's, it, that's if you have the taller lug track. But overall, like for kind of where I live and it's more trail and ditch banging and stuff, it's like an awesome sled for that. And I was even, man, I was even ripping wheelies and stuff, but the bigger lug track, it gets really good traction. And it's, it's like really fun to, you know, just get on it, that 850 and, you know, just rear back on it and let that thing pull a wheelie. Like I was having a lot of fun with that. As of today, I'm gonna say I'm having the most fun on that Indy XCR right now. But, but as the snow gets deeper, I think that's where that 137 is really gonna come in because I think it's gonna be really fun um, going off trail for a little while with it until I would say up to, you know, I'd say up to like two feet. I think you're gonna really have fun on the Indy 137. And then once you go over two feet of snow, then it's like you start getting where, well, you can get stuck. Then it's like 144, 146 starts, starts becoming very uh, appealing to me. So, but right now I'm really digging that, that XCR. The 137, outstanding on the trail, um, great in the ditches, just uh, the side hill and was pretty awesome for right now. And I, I mean, they're both like such good sleds. I think like either way, if you have either one, you're in a good place. And if you're looking at getting one or you're wondering about one of the other, um, I would just say if you're thinking more, if you're more of a trail guy, then the XCR, it's like for the aggressive rider, the aggressive trail rider, that's gonna be your guy. And if you like ditch banging, the XCR for sure, if you're, gonna want like more of an overall sled that 137 is like it's on point it's definitely on point so hopefully that helps you figure out what sled is the one that's right for you and for me i just like that i have both of them because <laughs> they are so good <laughs> they are so good either way i would like it's really a toss-up depends on the day if i'm you know, if I plan on doing a little bit more off trail, I'd take the 137. If I plan on, if I'm feeling jumpy, I'm taking that XCR. But overall, great machines. So if you guys have any other questions, if I didn't cover anything about them, um, you know, comment below, let me know. I'll, I'll let you know my thoughts on it or what I've, what I've noticed so far. And I, I you know, even, even if you want to know, uh, um, even tracks, like I said, I have a 137 or I have the, the inch and three quarter on the XCR, which has been really fun. And then I have the Storm 150, which is like probably one of my favorite Midwest tracks, just because it's like, it does well 
off trail and it's so it's just such a good combination with the inch and a half and inch and quarter so if you have any questions about that let me know in the comments below and if you know of some good riding i'm in northern minnesota so trails are going to be awesome and if you know of any other good riding that's anywhere i'd say anywhere in this country let me know because i'll <laughs> i'll come to you because i just like riding my snowmobile so that's all i have for today Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe. Remember to turn on that notification so you don't miss any of this fun. Because these, th this is just the start of awesomeness this year. We have a lot of really fun stuff coming. So be sure to stay tuned. And until next time, I'm going to drink my Red Bull and go ride my snowmobile. Take care.